Let's do a pretty look with PMC 57, this gorgeous new floral plate. Lots of really pretty images on here. Words glow, grow rather, and blossom. And then just a full coverage, bunch of different separate flowers, bunch of different leaves. So lots of options for making some really pretty stuff. Um, there's your clear um, spec sheet for doing your planning. Ooh, I love that purple one. So many pretty options. Okay, let's dive in. I've got a plan, so let's dive in. I'm gonna do a full coverage one first and show you how I put this guy together. I'm gonna start with um, some 78, pretty purple. Actually, first of all, why don't I tell you what's on our nails over here? We've got Coco and Claire. This one is Spa, number 383, and Creme Fresh, 382. So these are both Creme Fresh, these are both Spa, and then this guy is Moon Glow. He's actually a builder. That's Moon Glow, uh, I think two or three coats. And then I put Moon Glow just to tie everything together, because this one does have a bit of a shimmer, the Creme Fresh. Um, to tie everything together, I just put a coat of Moon Glow over top of all of them, and it just pulls everything together and makes it uniform, even though they're all different colors. So it's kind of a neat trick. Okay, let's do a full coverage one. Starting with the purple, number 78. Let's get this guy a mix. Always start with things well mixed. The first thing I'm going to lay down is actually the second sort of center image here. Let me zoom in a little bit. You don't need to see everything else. We're going to start with this guy. All right, so I've got my stamper in hand, scrape, and lift immediately. Get all those details. Okay. Now, I'm going to stay to one side so that when I'm lining everything up, I have a reference point. So I'm going to stay to the left. And that way when I come with my centers, I know that I'm staying left with it as well. Clean that off with my sticky pad. Okay, so those guys are all down. And now the centers, let's use a super light pink. So I'm gonna grab number 21 here. Needs a mix as well. You don't need to watch me do that. Okay, and since I'm staying to the left, I'm not going to worry about the fact that these went over over there. So my nail's not that wide. Scrape, immediately left. I'm just going to clean up this one extra image I picked up over here. Okay, so now I know that I'm staying left. And look how quickly I'm able to line things up. I was looking at the ones down below to make sure that as I push, that they all line up as well. Just kind of take your time. But then give it a push, hold for a sec. It did take a little bit of time getting into place there. And look at that. Okay. So at this stage, what I often do when I'm doing something that's two or three layers, this, I love how this went down, it's perfect. Everything's exactly where I want it to be. I'm actually gonna come with my top coat, which is just Shine from Coco and Claire, because I am using gel polish. I am going to put a coat of clear over top of this and give it a cure so that when I come with my next layer, which is gonna be an outline layer, a little tricky to position sometimes, so if I can give myself a, um, an out, if I don't hit it perfectly, then this is like a little insurance policy. Okay, so I'm gonna give that a cure. Okay, 
Okay, so that's cured now. We're ready for that third layer. And I'm gonna use number 51 right on the bubbly here. Make sure it's mixed. Looks good. in hand, scrape, and left, mm, not a great left. Okay, I think what's going on here is our, or gold rather, number 51, is a little bit thick. So, I'm gonna clean this up. Make sure that that's completely cleaned out. Any dried polish in there, of course, is gonna affect your next attempt to pick up and then I'm going to use my thinner and just put in maybe five drops to start with. And then we'll give that a mix. I like to just roll it between my hands. It uses that centrifugal force and forces everything to the center and gets it all mixed pretty quickly. So that's looking quite a bit thinner. And let's see if that does the trick. Our polishes are all hyperpigmented, so they do tend to get thick over time. And thinning them out, there we go, perfect pickup. Thinning them out makes all the difference. If they get too thick, it's like they stop picking up altogether. All right, so we're gonna take our time. Again, I know I was off to the left, so I'm gonna stay off to the left and we're lined up right away. And just take your time, pick a spot. I'm watching up top, trying to watch down below a little bit too to make sure that as I'm pushing, things are lining up. Hold it for a sec. That's pretty good. I like it. We're good to go. Okay, so that's the first one done. And that was a three layer full coverage. Sometimes full coverages can be a little tricky. Just don't get, don't get frustrated. Try the, try the trick with using a, a coat of clear in between. If you're using just regular polish, sometimes a, just a layer of clear will help if you um, allow it to dry enough um, to give you that second shot of, if you don't get it laid down where you want it, you want to try again without having to start all the way over. Okay. Let's go on to our next nail here. Same guy, another one of those creme fresh ones. And let's use, I want to use this great big one down here. This guy. Let's clean that one more time. There. Okay, number 78 again. I like to keep the colors consistent just to give sort of that uniform uniform look. Now I have to decide if this is the orientation I want for this flower to go on to the nail. I think I'm going to turn it a little bit because I want it to go on this way, kind of in that area. So straight, lift right away. I do have a little bit of an extra image here. Get that off there. So this way when I come, I'm not going to turn my stamper at all. I'm just going to go straight on and push. And now when I come with my outline, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Actually, no, we're not going to do outline. We're going to do center first. And what color do we want in the center? Let's go in yellow. Let's bring in a new color here. It'll look pretty with the purple. Oop. That one looks like it needs to be mixed. Let's just do a couple of double scrapes and see if that works. Well, it could work. <laughs> Still looks like the center of a flower. Let's be lazy and use it. And pop it right in that open. 
open space. We're gonna come with an outline anyway. Cute, that'll work. And I think when I was doing multiple swipes there, I might have gotten into that outline a little bit. So clean that off. And now when I come with this outline and scrape it, it's in the right position to just go straight to that nail as well. And lining it up isn't going to be tricky. Can I get the whole thing? Meh. Yes and no. Let's do it one more time. Let's do it one more time. That was a little light on my roll there. Make sure it's dry. When you wipe like that, you want to make sure it's dry because if you've got a bunch of polish remover or plate cleaner that's pooling in those little tiny ridges and then you put polish over top, they're gonna to mix together and do weird stuff. All right, here we go again. Oh, that's much better. Clean up our extras here. Okay, and that is my angle. And then when I go to my nail, everything's pretty much lined up to just press oh, a little bit there that I should have cleaned up underneath, but we'll just use a cotton to clean that up. So just fold it kind of like that. You can use a Q-tip and just pull off those two little bits that ought not to have been there. Okay, let's add a leaf to the bottom of this guy. So we've got some greenery on there. Number 98. Give him a swirl. Let's use this guy. I'm gonna outline him in gold just like we're doing everything else. It's another way to make your mani congruent. Let's use the same outline for everything. Okay side there. Clean all those extra bits off. Looks like a stem. It's going to work nicely. Okay, where do we want this to roll? Let's just go right. So that stem is going right up like that. Okay, now we're going to use gold to outline. <laughs> We try and put as much on a plate as we possibly can. So sometimes these things are close together, but use the side of your scraper and get rid of the extra, extra pickups. Whoops, that was supposed to be gold. <laughs> so focused on how close together they were. <laughs> so I used the wrong color. Okay, there's our gold. And he looks dry. So as I was saying, we try and put as much on the plate as we can. I don't like seeing a plate that's only got 10 images on it. So it just means that once you pick up like that, that you just gotta come either with the side of your scraper or your sticky pad or uh, people use all sorts of different things. Okay, so that's not coming off there. So I am gonna grab my sticky pad. It will take it off for sure. There we go. Perfectly clean. And back to our image. Line it up as best you can and give it a push. <gasps> so pretty. Oh, I love this flower. And I love the gold outline. Just gorgeous. Okay. Another one done. Let's go ahead and do... Go ahead and do this guy, and I want to use this really pretty lavender over here. Timber. Not going over polishes left and right here. Okay, we need purple, and we're going to need the green and the gold. So I'm going to start with the purple. This little image right here. I'm gonna put it part way up here on the side. 
like so. Mm, you know what? That's too far over. Because if you look at this image, this leaf comes quite a ways over. Uh, let's do it one more time just to make sure. I don't want to lose part of it. Something you can do is you could put down, you could lift the outline and put it down in a similar color and then it gives you something to aim at. I prefer to just wing it myself, but I should probably, now that I've mentioned that, I should probably show you what I mean. <laughs> so let's use a pink. Let's see how this works. Pink on pink. So that when I come with my gold at the end, it's just going to kind of disappear. exactly where you want it to be. Now pick up the purple. And you can see exactly where you want to put it. It's almost the same color as the base, so it's a little tricky to see, but that's important though, so that when you come with that outline, you're not competing with it. All right, so there's our purple in place. Now we can go and grab our leaf, the green. into place. So super subtle. Now we're going to come back with the gold. I'm going to outline it. sure I clean it up before. Okay. Let's move this guy off of here. Make it easier to get in there. I'm aiming for that leaf on the left. And then everything else just follows along. See all the colors popping through there. Super pretty. Tap that down a little bit. Let's put a word in beside that. I'm going to use blossom. So I'll do it in the gold. So notice how I did not wait for any amount of time after I scraped, I immediately lifted that up. And that way, you get the whole image without any fight. And then I'm done. Put this white guy back on here. This is our moon glow. Okay, so let's do the moon glow one next. And I want to use this image down here. Let me slide this up. I'm going to clean this off a little bit too. This is the guy I want to use right here. So let's do pink 
stay with that pink. 21, that's gonna be my petals. Now for positioning, I wanna do a bunch of different, a couple of different flowers on this nail. So I wanna make sure I leave room up top. Come down right about center there. With the pink, and then I'm gonna do a yellow center. And that guy right there. Ooh, I need to mix that one. <laughs> Did not do a good job of mixing that yellow. Let's see how this goes. That works it okay. Got away with it. Okay, now I'm gonna position this guy. I look down here at my outline to make sure how far in I am with this pretty center of this flower so that when I come with my outline that things line up as best you can. Let's do that right now. The gold. The whole thing. Side edge is pretty faint, but I think that's okay because we're going to be coming at that with the stuff in this area. We're going to be coming at that with another flower, so we're not going to worry too much about it. Line everything up. Okay, now let's get some pretty purple on here. I'm going to use this image right here. Now here's where our clear spec sheet comes in handy. I want to put that up there like that. I'm not going to be able to get the whole thing on there. So let's, I'm going to take this down to about here when I do all the lifting. And then it can sit like it's tucked in behind this flower. So right to basically where this guy goes off to the left. So instead of picking up the whole thing, I'm gonna start there and then plan it so that I scrape sideways. So I don't even pick up the bits that I don't want. I don't think that would show, but let's make sure. Okay, so now I've got a part of that image. Uh, that's perfect. And we'll tuck that right there. Okay, I'm gonna move this, just makes it easier to get into this other one. With the gold, now we need our outline. I'm gonna do the, exactly the same thing with the outline. Now, your other option is you can pull it off like we do extra images. But when you can do it right from your scrape, it's a lot easier. So there's our partial image ready to go. And then just take a minute to line it up. Perfect, love it. All right, let's add some greenery down below. I like the same one. Stay consistent. Same color, number 98. And quick pick up. Roll over ever so gently. You hear me saying that all the time. Believe me, when I say gentle, I mean you're barely touching it. The more gentle that you can roll over top of that image, the more likely you are to get every single little detail. Okay, now we're going to go over that with our gold. Now let's just scrape it so I didn't get any in the outline. Mm-hmm. 
didn't quite clean that off. I don't think it's going to matter though. I don't think it's even going to touch the nail. A little tiny bit. It's okay. We can get that off of there. Without too much trouble. Okay, that looks cute. Come up the side of the nail there. Okay, let's clean off that little bit at the tip there, or I'll forget. And then we'll have my top coat on going. What? Perfect. Okay, I want to do another word. I love these little words. This um, font is so pretty. So let's use. Do it in the gold. Make sure it's dry. And our gold is staying good and lifting perfectly still. Sometimes when you're using something over and over and over again, like we are the gold, it can thicken a little while you're using it and not lift as well. So if you're going along and you're stamping and everything's going great and then all of a sudden it's not, thin out that polish again. There's usually a reason. Sometimes your polish has gotten thicker, sometimes your air conditioning has come on or your heat has come on and there's a fan blowing that wasn't blowing before that's now drying things too quickly or there's lots of little things that can effect stamping. Here we go. That one's done. One more to do. And back on there. Make sure it's clean. Okay. So let's go down here. Down to this bottom corner more of these pretty flowers another different image and here's one two three so where's our pink let's stay consistent with our pinks here number 21 so i'm going to use for the flowers the petals Okay, I'm gonna give my centers a little stir because I haven't done that yet. Almost done the Manny. I haven't ton used a ton of yellow though, so we've managed to manage that. And there's our centers. So I'm going to scrape pretty hard and lift right away. Drop that whole thing. And now let's lift. Cute. Let's put just a little bit of floral. Let's put a little bit of something just up here to balance that guy out a little bit. Let's use the same yellow as the corn flower. I like this image right here. Let's center that yellow. Such a happy color. Just up in the corner. Kind of spilling over the top a little bit. Now I turned that just slightly, so I'm going to have to be aware of that when I come to put my outline. 
make sure that I turn the same amount. Just to move it. Be able to see the line those guys up. whole look. All of them different, yet they all work together. Consistent colors. If I did it again, honestly, I'd probably do yellow in the centers of those just to keep all the centers yellow. But that's really pretty. Very delicate. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you all in the next video.